is up you guys, it's PogoDude10 and I am doing my first cinema tutorial. So here in Word we have our little notebook thing that I found and this is what we're going to cover today. Text, colors, light, floors, and moving stuff. And not like the moving stuff like in intros but just basic moving the text or box or whatever. So that's what we'll be covering today. And then, as we go on, I'll have sessions here. Um, okay, so let's open up Cinema. And if you have Windows, this is pretty much the exact same thing. I don't know how they work anymore, because I don't like Windows. Um, so you're going to go into this little squiggly line thing, and it's meant for the freehand symbol. But here's the text. So you got the text. And let's type in hello, like that. Just click somewhere, then it should change. Now, as you may notice, the text is just like this. It doesn't have any background when you render it. See, there's nothing. Now, how to change this is you go to this little symbol right here, and you go to extrude NURBS, like that. You're going to grab your text, and you're going to drag it in it. See? Now you have text. You can see it. Now, the people at Cinema thought of a better way to do this. So, they made no text, like this. And it's pretty much just text, and with the extrude nerds thing, like that, and it's just in one. So, hello. There you go. So that's how that works for text. Now, for text, there's many things that you can do. There's depth. You can change that. That was a little bit too much. See? Now you can change the depth of it, which makes it look more 3D when you do that. And then there's fonts. Of course, my font thing never shows up. And you got your fonts. You can change it. And there you go. That's how text works. It's quite simple. It's not hard to use. Um, next thing with text, the height. You can change the height down. Smaller. Bigger. Not very hard. Um, we'll go over caps in a different lesson. So that's it for text, which was our first thing. Next, we will do colors. Now, colors are the base to most things. So again, we'll open up a mo text like you learned. Go to object. Hello. Make a depth of 100, which you also learned. And you're going to click create new material. Now you just double click the material and it should show up on the screen like this or you can use that but this is easier. So you have three main colors here. Blue, green, and red. And it's kind of like a pixel I guess you could say. Which are the main colors. So let's say you want something blue. Just slide those down. And voila, you got blue. Now there's many different things you can do with colors. Like you can add reflections like that then just bring the brightness down and you got a nice little reflection on it and this is probably one of my favorite things I love reflections now what if you want a certain thing like let's say a metal like a metal kinda thing there's websites for that and this website is one of my favorites it's c4dtextures.com and they have pretty much everything metal and mineral let's go to that because we wanted a metal one so there's um let's do caustic gold we'll do that we'll click it and we'll do that so now we have this and we will save the material 
as on your desktop. You can save it as gold. For Windows, you know how to save. It's not hard. So then you can exit with that, and you go here. Now, create load materials. Now we sent it to the desktop, and there's gold. So now we got our gold. And to apply color, you just drag it right here, like that. Not very hard. And there you go. It's goldish. Let's look at it from a different angle. It's kind of shiny. Uh, it's a nice text thing, but yeah. So that's color for now. Next, light. Um, for light, we have the light thing. Let's go to light. You drag it. There you go. See, now it has a shade to it, which makes it look better and more diverse. And light's quite simple. It's not very hard. If you want it less intense, you go into the intensity. And you bring the brightness down. Simple. So that's light. Next we have floors. Floors, also a very simple thing. As you can see when you do this, it's just black. Not very hard. Looks okay if you're just doing something with no background or something, you just want it black. But if you want to add stuff to it, you can go floor. Now for floor, it's only a certain size. So you go into coordinates, the middle one, and you just add a bunch of zeros. Like that. Now you have a nice floor, and you can see it. So next, what if you want to add color to the floor? Here's something. So you got your uh, color thing. You want to make it completely white. Maybe add a little bit of reflection, so it's like a nice white. Um, so you got that. There. Um, so we'll add a white to the floor. As you can see, it changes. It doesn't look right because it's not rendered, but there you go. Now it's kind of like a grayish white kind of color, and it reflects it because of the reflection that we added. So, that's about it for floors. Now, moving stuff. You may have seen me doing this before. I did it to move the text and stuff, but in case you don't know how to do it, you click on it, you select it, you move it. It's not very hard. Lights, you move it. Now let's do something different. Let's say you want to slant it. You click this little thing right up here, and you can move it like that. You can move it like that. And you can move it like that. See? It's not very hard. Now let's say you want to scale something. Let's do it like that. You click on the middle thing, and you move. So, as a review, we learned how to use text, we learned colors, light, floors, and moving stuff. So that is it for our tutorial today, guys. Um, comment on stuff you want me to do, because right now, I'm just going off stuff that I learned on my own, and yeah, um, lessons will get more complicated as we go. I will teach you guys how to make light boards, intros, neon, everything. It's going to be a pretty long series, but you will learn a lot and you will get good at the program. And that's something I can promise. So comment, rate, subscribe, and join ClanFod at www.clanfod.com. Um, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.